Welcome to the Storyteller Channel. In this chapter, we delve into a world where dreams and reality intertwine, where the night holds secrets and whispers that beckon from the shadows. Join us as we follow Lila Hart, a young girl whose dreams lead her to the edge of a dark forest, where the boundaries of reality blur and the whispers of the night call out to her. Stay tuned as we unravel the mysteries that lie within the shadows of Eldergrove. The night was thick with an unsettling stillness, as if the very air held its breath in anticipation. Lila Hart lay tangled in her sheets, the moonlight filtering through the window, casting ghostly patterns on the walls of her small room. The familiar shadows danced, but tonight they felt different, more sinister. As she drifted into sleep, the boundary between reality and nightmare began to blur. In her dream, Lila found herself standing at the edge of the dark forest that loomed ominously at the outskirts of Eldergrove. The trees, gnarled and twisted, reached out like skeletal fingers, beckoning her closer. A chill ran down Lila's spine as she stepped forward, the ground beneath her feet soft and yielding, as if it were alive. The whispers began, soft at first, like the rustling of leaves, but soon crescendoed into a cacophony of voices, each one more insistent than the last. Lila's heart raced as shadowy figures emerged from the depths of the forest, their forms indistinct yet menacing. They moved with an unnatural grace, circling her, their whispers growing louder, more urgent. Find us, Lila. You must find us. They chanted, their voices intertwining with the rustling of the leaves. Panic surged within her, and she turned to run, but the forest seemed to stretch endlessly, the path twisting and turning, leading her deeper into its embrace. Awakening with a start, Lila gasped for breath, her heart pounding against her ribcage. The remnants of the nightmare clung to her like cobwebs, and she could still hear the echoes of the whispers in her mind. She glanced at the clock, 3.17 a.m. The hour felt heavy with foreboding, and Lila knew she wouldn't find solace in sleep again tonight. As dawn broke, the town of Eldergrove stirred to life, the annual harvest festival casting a veneer of normalcy over the growing unease. Lila dressed slowly, her mind still tangled in the remnants of her dream. She could hear the laughter of children outside, the clinking of glasses, and the distant sound of music, but it all felt distant, muffled by the weight of her fears. At the festival, Lila spotted her best friend, a girl with bright blue eyes sparkling with excitement. Her colorful attire and vibrant personality seemed to embody the very spirit of the celebration. Yet, as Lila approached, she felt a rift forming between them, a chasm of belief and skepticism. You're not going to let those nightmares ruin today, are you? Her friend teased, her laughter ringing like a bell. But Lila could only manage a weak smile, the shadows of her dreams still clinging to her. Mayor Thompson stood at the center of the festivities, his stout figure commanding attention as he delivered a speech about community and resilience. Lila watched as he dismissed the growing whispers of nightmares as mere fabrications of overactive imaginations. His words, meant to reassure, only deepened Lila's resolve. She felt a surge of determination. She would uncover the truth behind the nightmares that haunted her and the town. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows over Eldergrove, Lila stood at the edge of the festival, her heart heavy with the weight of her family's past. The forest loomed behind her, dark and foreboding, a silent witness to her fears. With a deep breath, Lila vowed to confront the shadows that haunted her, to seek the truth hidden within the whispers of the dark forest. The night was just beginning, and with it, the nightmares would unfold.